Longtime trainer Denise Warren, a self-proclaimed country girl, was, as she likes to put it, born into the saddle. Denise is the daughter of the late Frank Day, a successful thoroughbred trainer. He passed on the racing bug to Denise, who was a successful jockey in her younger days. He's had a big influence on my life, mum and dad both. Um, yeah, started off with show horses. When they go around to the shows, I'd be riding. Um, then I started into the trotters, and then from the trotters, I started riding racehorses. Um, and then, yeah, he's just a lot of things that he said to me when I was working with Dad comes into play with greyhounds, but on a smaller scale. After a bad fall cut short her jockey career, Denise transitioned to greyhound racing through her husband Errol, a bookmaker and trainer. He had greyhounds and that and was good friends with Max Tyler with all the lilac dogs and he was um, a hobby trainer, so I virtually married into greyhounds. <laughs> Denise and Errol bought a property in Goulburn and started to develop it for their growing team of dogs. Denise believes that the property helps greatly with her training methods that were passed on by her father. Yeah, there's 25 acres, don't ask me what that is in hectares. Um, yeah, and it's, we bought it mainly um, not thinking of greyhounds at the time. Um, it's a, a, got hills in it as you've seen, but the, the dogs work, have to work up the hill, which I think is Bill's shoulders and, and hindquarters. A string of group winners and talented greyhounds like Fox Hill Bella, Mythological and Rage and Ruin have come through Denise's kennels over the years. But it is her current crop of chasers in work who are proving to be some of her most successful yet. Heading her team is talented stayer Dusty Moonshine, who has been a regular name in distance fixtures over the past year. I'm over the moon with um, Dusty, yeah, I just hope that she can Put it together for a few more um, group races but as I said to the owners I think she's probably a couple of lengths off being a good, a good group one dog. Um, you've got to be realistic but no I'm over the moon with her. She's did everything we wanted to do. Dusty Moonshine holds both the Gosford and Dapto track records over the staying distance and Denise admits both of the runs were a pleasant shock. I was worried about coming into that one because I never had the run I wanted to leading up to that and I thought that 7.30 might have been a little bit hard for her but the further they went the stronger she got. Um, it was enormous, enormous run. When she broke the record at Gosford like she'd never been there so that was a big achievement for her. Dusty Moonshine has struggled with injuries recently but Denise hopes to have her back on the track soon. Yeah, we're looking at um, a couple coming up towards the end of the year, and I think there's one up at the gardens in the new year. There's a couple of little races coming up, yeah, that we're thinking of. It's just how she gets over these injuries. One of Denise's other greyhounds, Got A Problem, is the centre of a feel-good story that took place earlier this year at Wentworth Park. After a terrible fall at Wentworth Park early in his career, Denise never thought the Greyhound would run well at the track ever again. Or at least she did until a few months ago. Well, we all know how good he was going to be until his fall at Wenty. Um, and that, and he's just an old war horse, nearly five year old, I think Christmas time. He's just a beautiful old dog and been a lot of enjoyment in him, but very sad to think he wasn't seen at his full potential um, at Wentworth Park and the night he did win down there, the tears run down my face <laughs> just to think, well, he finally, finally won one because we honestly thought he was going to be a good dog until the fall. Denise is planning to cut back on her training duties and reduce her team, but believes she will always have a few greyhounds around. I will, I'm, I will cut back a little bit. I only really want eight dogs in work now. Um, I don't really, I, I can't handle young pups anymore because it's just too much work and especially with Errol. Um, so it'll be, yeah, I'll just see how the help on both sides go, yeah. Denise credits the love of the dogs themselves as the reason she has kept training all these years and the reason she will keep going into the future. I think just looking and, and trying to do this for the dogs and 
you, you'll have one come into the kennel that'll make you feel it could change tomorrow. So yeah, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm frightened to stop. I think if I stop, I might curl over. <laughs>